Hey everyone, it's JJ here. I wanted to show you how I got this 3D makeup look inspired by the song Physical by Dua Lipa. And if you want to see how I got this look, then keep on watching. Okay, so we are gonna get into the makeup look. As I mentioned in the last two videos, I gave you a rundown on my base drag makeup. So now we're gonna build off of that base. I just went a little bit lighter with the shades in those products so that the contours weren't as deep. And that's all because we are gonna go in with reds and blue contours. So I want those to be the main attraction. So I'm gonna go into Blue Blood with my Y11 brush from Morphe. And again, I'm gonna stamp it on the tip where I have the lighter contours that I did today. And bring this shade down. And the reason why I'm using a lighter shade right now is because I want to keep it light so I can blend it out with the foundation and then take the darker shades of blue onto the depths of the cheekbones. We are gonna go into a deeper shade. So we are gonna go into the shade Blue Monday down here. And we're gonna take this like we did with the second shade of contour in the first video and just deepen out the contours of the face. And we're not gonna blend this out as far. It's gonna really stay in those areas. And now that the Blue Monday shade is put into the cheeks to help, again, get that gradient that we want to shape out the face, we are gonna go in with Undertaker. It is just a deeper blue shade, and we're gonna be very, very careful with this shade because it's an eyeshadow, so it has more pigment, and it does blow out fast and we're just gonna take it right there. I do wanna mention that I am wearing a wig from Deluxe Hair Fanatic. This is a lovely human hair dyed custom for me. So thank you, girl. We are gonna go into the same thing, but with the red shades, and anywhere that I do blue, I want the red to be next to it, because I do want it to be this cool 3D glasses kind of vibe. And then we will go in with black liner to give it a really graphic feel. So we are gonna go in with the M448 brush. This is very similar to the Y11 brush. This is the exact same idea. It is just a little bit more rounded than tapered, but still tapers. We're gonna go back into the blood sugar palette. We all know that I like this palette. And we're gonna go into Prick again. This is why we didn't do as deep of contour in the beginning, because if we did a darker contour and then added these shades on top, it would get a really muddy. So I always do a lighter foundation and concealer and powder when I'm doing colorful contours. Now that that is done, we are gonna go in with a deeper shade. So this is Cherry Soda, again, same shade as the last video, slightly darker. And we are gonna, again, just take that on the outside of the forehead, so closest to the hairline, so that we Again, getting the same gradient as before. And then the last shade we are gonna go into is Coma. So it is more of a deep purple shade and just taking that along the parts of the face that I wanna carve out even more. So now that I have the blue and the reds carving out my forehead and my cheek, I'm going to do the same thing on the bottom of my chin with the red, and then I'm going to do the reverse on the other side so that we do get this opposite kind of asymmetrical makeup look. And then we will be back to do our nose. Okay, so I finished up the rest of the outside of the face. So now we're gonna go into the nose contour. Now I'm gonna go back in with the M506 and M507 brushes that we used from the last video. Now these ones were eyeshadow brushes. We're still gonna use them for eyeshadow today but I decided I wanted to use these for my nose contour as well so we're gonna take prick again which is this lightest red shade and we are gonna take that on the M506 brush and we're gonna start contouring the nose so on this side because I have the blue I want this side of the nose to be red this side because of the cheek being red I want the nose to be blue you can do it however you want. So as you can see, because we're using eyeshadows, it is very pigmented. So that's why I'm choosing a small, small brush for this. And I'm gonna take it up 
into, again, the corner of the eye and where the eyebrow starts. So then I'm gonna take the fluffy brush again from the last video, the M441 brush, and we're just gonna start diffusing those lines by blowing them out a little. Again, you wanna have a balance between blend but also pigments. So just go back and forth with all of these shades to try and get a good gradient. And then the last step will be like a black liner, which we'll tie it all in together. So then with the same M506 brush, we're just gonna go into the next shade following the same three shades that we did for the contour. And we're gonna do the same thing with the nose. But again, being more conscious where we place the darker shadows. So the darker shadows for me on this side will carve out the round shape that I want with the tip. And then just kind of on the widest part of my nose and into the crease. And then again, we are gonna go into Coma, which is the darkest shade that we used earlier. Now we're gonna do the same thing with the blue on the other side and then just kind of connect it at the bottom of the nose and we will be right back. We're gonna do a look that's similar to the last look. The only difference is that we are going to do a halo eye. We're gonna go in with the same M507 brush that we used for the blue on the nose contour. And we are gonna go into blue blood. We're just gonna press it into the corner of the eye, stamping it on. And instead of just following that shape that we created, like the cut crease, we are gonna start stamping in the shade on the inner corner as well to mimic the outer corner. And basically with a halo eye, you're just gonna start getting a ring or a halo around the eye. Now I'm just gonna take a M433 brush and take the blue blood shade again. And instead of stamping it on now, we're just gonna diffuse the edges a little bit. That's why I like using red and blues as well, because obviously if you mix them, you get a purple. And that's kind of the shades that we can use in the creases. So although I'm doing a rounded halo eye, I am going to take this out a tiny bit to follow the lines that we created. Now for the next shade I'm going to go back into is Blue Monday. And because I do have hooded eyes, I'm taking it up a little bit higher onto the brow bone so you do see it when I have my eyes open. Now I am taking Undertaker, which is the deepest blue shade in this palette, and just blowing out Undertaker, again, closest to the crease. So we are gonna cut the crease the same way that we did the last time. The only difference is we're gonna keep the concealer in the middle and we're not gonna worry about the corners because again, the halo eye, the lightest part is in the center. So we're gonna go back in with the M506 brush in the prick shade, which is the red. And we are gonna pick up a lot of it on the tip. And we're gonna start stamping it here because this is going to end up being a more purple or deep blue purple shade. And so I'm trying to get the lightest pigment towards the center and, and we are going to pick up the white shade glucose in the blood sugar palette and we are just going to stamp this on the center of the eye before it gets too crazy. So now we're going to go back in with the same M506 brush and take up cherry soda which is the medium shade so in all of this we have three shades for each red and blue. We have a lighter shade, a medium shade, and a deeper shade. And so if you figure that out by now, we are gonna just keep on going back and forth between those three shades. I start this more towards where the concealer ended and the blue started. And then of course the last shade is Coma, which is the deepest like purpley red shade. So as you can see, I did all of that. We are just gonna go back into Undertaker from the Blue Blood palette, and that is the deepest blue shade. And we are just gonna continue to blend out the corners of where the red and the blue meet. And once this is done, we are going to then do the exact same thing that we did on the top of the eye, 
on the bottom, the opposite on the red side, so red on the outside, blue on the inside, and we will be back. Okay, so I finished up the full face with the reds and the blues, and now we're just gonna go into the house lab palette into top hat, which is the black, and we're just gonna deepen the outer corner of the eye, going into the under eye, just to start, again, getting that wing back. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the inner corner here. And we're gonna do this on the other side and then maybe just deepen up some of the blues and then we will be right back. So we're gonna finish up the eyes by doing a lash curl and then we're gonna put on the NYX Cosmetics Jumbo Eye Pencil. And then we're gonna alternate between the House Labs Eye Liner and Punk, which is the black, and the Epic Ink Liner from NYX. So now we're gonna go into browse with the House Labs Eye Liner and Punk, which is the black again. And we are gonna start drawing on brows. Now we're gonna go in and highlight the face. I'm gonna take the Cullen and Shade again on this other Morphe brush. This was like the thicker pencil brush in the last video. And the reason why I'm going with this shade is because it's more of a white base highlight. So it will match the lighter foundation and concealer. But then it also will clean up any like weird blending. Okay, so now we're just gonna go in with this fluffy brush from Morphe and highlight the cheeks. I did some beauty marks and drip effects lined the lip with the NYX Cosmetics Epic Ink Liner. I'm gonna go in with the Jeffree Star Velour Liquid that's in Weirdo, which is the black. And we're just gonna fill in the lips. Okay, everyone, so this is the final look. This is my 3D drag speed racer look, inspired by the song Physical by Julie Ba. So I threw on some nails by Miss Pop Nails. And of course, my Isley New York glasses. I have my vintage Terry McGlair, and we are good to go. I just wanted to say, I know that the world is kind of crazy right now, but we are hoping to make positive change and hoping that videos like this help promote positivity and creativity and light. So if you do like these kind of videos, let me know down below. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share because sharing is half the battle, especially against algorithm. And if you have any suggestions about makeup looks that you wanna see from me, let me know down below. I wanted to say a huge thank you so much for watching. I love and support and accept you all, and I will catch you on the next one.